Hello and welcome to Opera in Brief, the show that summarizes operas for your convenience and entertainment. Today we will be discussing Bellini's 1831 opera Norma, which I'd like to rename because honestly. The opera opens with Oriveso, the chief of the druids, leading a procession to victory against the Romans. They call on Oriveso's daughter Norma, the chief priestess, to bring victory and peace to their people. Then this Roman soldier, Polione, and his friend Flavio come in. Who's in the mood for some forbidden love? Well, I've got good news for you. Polione fathered two children with Norma, and she has to keep them a secret because she took a vow of chastity. But now he loves Norma's BFF. Adalgisa because men are literally the worst. He apparently had a dream about his impending doom, which like, no kidding, Sherlock. So they leave and the druids enter. Norma leads them in a prayer for peace but secretly promises that she won't do anything to hurt Polione. They all leave and look who it is, it's Polione having a secret rendezvous with Adalgisa. They decide to run away to Rome together the next day. So back at Norma's house, Adalgisa tells Norma that she's in love with this amazing Roman. Norma's all, I got you, and releases Adalgisa from her vows so that she can get her men. But as they talk, it dawns on Norma that the man is Polione, and you'll never guess who walks on stage right then. 10 points if you guessed Polione. Norma chews him out, but she doesn't blame Adalgisa because women need to stick together in times like this. Polione storms off as the druids announce that the gods are also super pissed. And Act 1. Act 2 opens as Norma is contemplating killing her sleeping sons to spare them from the world, but she can't bring herself to do it. She calls for Adalgisa, who's all, you look terrible, what happened? Norma makes her swear to do anything she says, which no one should agree to before hearing the conditions because sometimes those conditions are, take my children to their deadbeat father and live out your days as a family. But Adalgisa is a good friend and says all she's going to do is bring the deadbeat dad back to take responsibility for his actions. Meanwhile, the druids are preparing for war. Back at the temple, Norma learns that Adalgisa couldn't get Polione to come back, so she calls in the druids and tells them that it's killing time. But in order to declare war, Chief Oriveso needs a sacrifice to the gods. And wouldn't you know it, Polione is caught in the temple so the crowd pretty easily settles on him. Norma takes out a knife to stab him with, but she can't bring herself to do it and asks for a private conversation with the victim. Once alone, she says, leave us forever and you'll be safe. And he's all, no, let me leave with Adalgisa. Fine, I'll kill your kids. No, kill me. I'll kill whoever I want to and guess what, it's everybody. Don't kill Adalgisa. Don't tell me what to do, everyone get in here. So the crowd gathers and she's all, all right, let's kill the one who broke her vows. It's me. By the way, Dad, you have two grandkids. Bye! And she jumps on the funeral pyre and Polione jumps on with her. End of opera.